This video is going to cover the basics of using the PalmTech app for the iPhone, iPad, and Android phones and tablets. For this video, we'll be looking at the app on an iPhone. However, the app will look and function the same way on an iPad as well as on an Android device. Let's get started and go ahead and open up the PalmTech app. We are now looking at the open screen. On this screen, we have a few options, including the ability to start a new inspection, open a previous inspection, and access the online portal. Let's tap on Start New Inspection. Here we see the Choose Template screen. This is where we can select what template we want to use. You can select a template from the local device, your cloud drive, or the default install. The default install list will show you a complete list of templates included with PalmTech. Let's go back to Local and select the House template. Now we see a list of appointments to choose from. These are the appointments you've scheduled using your PalmTech scheduler. If you don't have an appointment set up, you won't see the screen and it will skip to the next step where we name the file. If this is for an inspection that you haven't set up in scheduler, you can tap the Continue with no appointment button. We do want to start with an appointment, so we'll tap on the one that we want. Let's call this inspection test and tap continue. We are now in our inspection and looking at the appointment view. This view has all the basic information about the appointment and as you can see it has already been pre-filled from the appointment we selected. We can switch between views by tapping on one of the icons on the view bar. The first icon is for the appointment view which we are on now. The second one is for inspection view where we go to do the actual inspection. Next is a review where we have different tools to help us review the inspection. And finally we have email. On this view we can either email the report where it needs to go or if you want to send it to another device like your computer to continue working on it you can do that here by tapping on the upload to cloud button. That's a look at how to move around in the app Let's go back to the inspection view and start filling out some information. Here we can see a list of all the different categories or sections in our inspection. You can see the complete list by simply swiping your finger up and down the list. Let's tap on lots and grounds and we can start filling it out. We can now see all the inspection items in this section. All of the inspection items we see here all the categories we just saw in the list and everything we see in a drop-down is customizable by you. We won't be covering customization in this video, so if that's something you would like to do or learn more about, then check out the videos on customization. Filling out information on this screen is very simple. We have a series of four main columns which are the ratings, the actual inspection item, a spot for a description or material, and finally, a spot for a note. We work across each line to fill it out and we'll start with the driveway line. The first item on the line is a rating. When we tap on it, we'll see the standard rating options that come with the software when you get started. These are customizable by you, but for this video, we'll stick with the standard options. The driveway is acceptable, so we'll tap on it. We can see we have an A for acceptable, so now we'll move on to the description. We'll say it's made out of asphalt, so we'll select that from the list. The driveway line is done, so we'll move on to walks. We'll fill out walks line the same way and mark it acceptable and say it's concrete. But let's say we get to the side of the house and we see another set of walks that are brick and we want to say both concrete and brick. We can easily select a second item from the list by pulling the list back up and then tapping the plus sign to the right of the item we want to add. Next, we have the steps and stoops line. We'll say there's an issue with this, so we'll mark it marginal. For the description, we'll say it's concrete. And since there is an issue with it, we want to explain what the issue is in the note section. Let's tap on note and we'll say that the concrete is pitted and chipped. We'll also add a picture to this line. We can do this by tapping on the icon to the right of the line and then tapping on the camera icon. When we do this, it pulls up our camera and lets us take a picture. We'll tap on Use Photo, and now we're brought to a screen where we have the option to replace the picture we just took, take another picture, 
or go back to filling out the information. Let's go ahead and take a second picture. And then we'll just tap on finished. We're now back where we can keep filling out information. If we tap directly on an inspection item, it'll take us to the edit line screen where we can see more details for a line. Let's tap on where it says steps and stoops. We're now looking at the edit line view. We see all the information we just entered as well as the pictures we added. We can do a little more on this screen as we can change the color of the note and we can actually edit what items appear in our drop down list by tapping on the drop down and then tapping on the edit in the lower right hand corner. Another thing we can do is tap on the picture to bring up the view picture screen. On this screen we could do a few things including changing the size of the picture and adding markups such as arrows and text. Let's go ahead and add a red arrow and a blue circle. This looks good so we'll tap on close. That's a look at the edit line screen. You can navigate to the next line or the previous line by swiping across the screen. Let's go ahead and swipe to the next line, which is the porch line. We can fill out the information for a line on this screen as well. We'll mark the porch as acceptable and say it's made of concrete. If we wanted to type something in, we could do that here by tapping in either the note or the description box. We can tap the button in the top left corner and go back to the Choose Line screen. You can quickly work your way through a section by simply tapping on the drop downs like we've taken a look at. If we come across a line where we want to type something in, we can do that by entering the edit line view we just looked at or by tapping here and typing in what we need. When you're finished with a section, you can navigate to the next one by swiping across the screen, tapping on this arrow here, or by pulling up the list of sections and choosing the one you want to go to. You can also tap back, which we'll do now. That's everything you need to know to be able to fill out information in the app. Once you're finished with an inspection, you can navigate to the Reviews tab. This tab makes it easy to review your inspection as it will show you a list of everything that hasn't been filled out, a list of everything that's in the automatically created summary, as well as the pictures you've added. The summary review and picture review options are great ways to review the key findings with your client at the end of an inspection. Now that we're done reviewing our inspection, we're ready to email it, so let's tap on the email tab. Some inspectors like to do the whole report in the field, while others prefer finishing it up back at the office. If you prefer finishing up at the office, you would just tap on the Upload to Cloud button at this point. This will upload your inspection and make it available to be worked on or reviewed on another device that you use PalmTech on, like a desktop or laptop. If you prefer doing it all in the field, then you could select the email address to send it to. We'll go ahead and select our client's email address and then we could put in our email message. You can type something out if you want or you can simply select it from the drop down list. Once you have the email message in that you want, tap on email report now and the inspection will be sent. This concludes a video on the basics of entering information on the app.